Hello there, autumn slash fall is arriving in the Northern Hemisphere and bringing with it crunchy leaves, chunky knits, crisp mornings, and trees taking on burgundy, burnt orange, and terracotta tones. That really shapes the color palette I'm drawn to this season, so I've gathered some products that have made their way into my autumn makeup bag. Quite a few new pieces here, but some old favorites too. Although the colors I reach for come and go with the seasons, the textures don't really change. When it's cold in autumn and winter, cream products help me look more healthy instead of flat and dry from all that cold air and heating. And when it's hot in spring and summer, I like cream products that feel light and sheer on my skin. So it's basically creamy makeup in all four seasons here. Let's just skip to the good bit, the autumnal shades. A warm wash of color on the cheeks is a great place to start. This little bottle launched hundreds of comments and messages my way, and I finally have one to show you. M Cosmetics Color Drop Serum Blush is a light as air liquid formula that creates the most beautiful, healthy flush. No glitter or shimmer, just a finish that's so dewy and fresh. Push a tiny bit out of the little dropper, that's all you'll need to start with, and it shears out so nicely or you can build it up. Sunset Sky is my dream deep orange. I'll be reviewing these in more detail and swatching all of their shades in a video very soon. Westman Atelier's new Baby Cheeks Blush Stick shade Chouchette is a much more muted option but still feels quite autumnal to me, just more delicate than the first. It's a really soft pastel peach that adds a natural blush to the cheeks in Gucci Westman's usual super smooth cream formula. One of the most famous blush launches of the year, the Colourpop Blush Sticks, will be on my channel in future in a big swatching video. The shade Roosevelt is my kind of multitasker, a great tan brown to warm up the cheeks and add depth to the eyes as a quick cream shadow. Blends really well, shears out nicely, and comes in at $8. Swapping to a pop product now. Trini London is the creamy, multitasking British brand by fashion expert Trini Woodall. Her lip to cheek in Freddy looks like quite a rich berry, but it blends to become a lovely terracotta. Balmy, sheer, and a nice dewy finish, so it's a blush and healthy glow in one. I know I've become a broken record with this next one, but I can't get enough of the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Bronze in Sunkissed. It's just a perfect rosy brown that can do it all for fall. A deep blush, a bronzer, an ideal cream shadow color. More Nude Sticks coming soon. Really enjoying those tones. A bright burnt orange, some softer peaches, and a couple of tan browns to top things off. Moving on to eyes and two palettes that are autumn personified. The Dior Backstage Amber Neutrals palette is pretty close to heaven for warm shadow lovers like me. So many great shades to wear alone or mix together. They blend nicely with brushes or you can smudge it on with fingers for a less polished look. Colourpop Yes Please is another palette that just shouts fall from the rooftops with a combination of mattes and shimmers. My friend Katie from What Kate Finds and I bought this at the same time last year, but she's already hit pan, I think. I'm always mixing and matching and using my powder shadows quite gently because I'm just after a hint of colour and a light wash. I also saw Alana Davison use this in an autumn video recently, so you can see it in action on the eyes there. I'll leave a Colourpop discount code below too. This shiny little compact is home to a Chantecaille shadow in the shade Carnelian, a glowy peach powder that's so smooth it goes on more like a cream shadow. Gorgeous all year round, but really feels very fitting when autumn leaves start to fall. This next product isn't really an eyeshadow, but true to multitasking form, I'll make it work that way. The Make Beauty Bizu Bizu Lip and Cheek Stick is such a deep terracotta colour, it dared me to apply it on the eyes, and I've worn it that way for about a year and a half now. It smudges out to be a perfect rust red shade that makes green eyes pop in particular. I love the ease of shadow sticks all year round, and by Terry's Ombre Black Star is iconic. I've neglected bronze so far, which is a very appropriate shade for autumn, so number four, Bronze Moon, ticks that box. A luxurious, super soft and smooth cream shadow that blends effortlessly, and that shimmer really brightens up the eyes. Deep lipstick shades are an easy way to get into the spirit of the season. Starting with a brown like the leaves on the ground, Glossier's Generation G lipstick in Leo is a sheer matte that leaves a milk chocolate tint. Finally got to try their latest formula, and to me it's much more comfortable than the last. Let me know if you'd like to see a comparison video with the old and new. You'll see Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Lips 2 collection on my channel this week, but let's meet Glowing Jen first, a tawny rose inspired by Jennifer Aniston with a creamy satin finish. It's maybe slightly warmer than her famous berry shade Walk of Shame, and lovely as a sheer layer or built up. Taking you back to 90s autumn now, with Chanel's Matte Crayon de Couleur in the shade Rosy Wood. Worn by Lily Rose Depp at this year's Met Gala, this rich rosy brown has autumn written all over it. Shear it out with your fingers or draw it on more precisely. Bobbi Brown's latest lipstick line is a great fit for this season too. The Lux Shine Intense Lipstick in Claret is such a beautiful burnt rosy red with a comfortable shine finish. I saw Nikki de Roost apply this during a masterclass in New York in early autumn and snapped it up straight away. Now I'm giving you the chance to wear it too. Head to my Instagram at MatildaOnVideo for a giveaway, linked down below. 
Yes, you're seeing correctly, that's a lip gloss. My rejuvenated love of glossy lips recently led me to Pat McGrath's Lust Gloss in the shade Flesh 4. Chocolatey and dark, but still sheer, so it just looks like a tint with great shine. Lots of lip gloss content on my filming list for later in the year. Nail polish isn't as quick to throw on as lipstick, but for me it can make a whole outfit instantly feel more autumnal. You can see I'm quite a collector, but a few favourites for this time of year are a soft London-inspired grey nude like Nails Inc. Colville Muse. Olive and June from LA was a discovery earlier this year and my new nail polish obsession. This is HZ, a perfect dusty pink. Essie Gel Couture is just a normal polish with the lasting power of a gel in great shades like the Dark Mauve Take Me to Thread. Red works all year round but really suits sweater weather for me. Chanel's iconic Ruby Red Pirate is one of my favourites. And another Olive and June shade SC, the rich wine I have on right now. Great lasting power and a top coat that makes your at-home mani look straight out of a salon. Let me know if you're interested in seeing my nail routine and what sort of makeup and polish shades you're drawn to in autumn. I'd love to hear if you change up your routine or come back to the same products. Maybe you've made some new discoveries for the season like I did. Please share them down below. And don't forget to check out the Bobbi Brown lipstick giveaway over on my Instagram at Matilda on video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.